Vivian Westwood held a fist up in defiance as she posed for the final photo shared before her death. Vivian, known as the godmother of punk, died on Thursday at the age of 81 peacefully, and surrounded by her family in Clapham, South London, her representative said. An image of her was posted to her Instagram page towards the end of November. Wearing one of her own designs, a message for her husband Andreas Kronviller, 56, can be seen at the front of her apron dress. Vivian, heart, Andreas, is written in black. Sharing the photo on Instagram the caption read, Vivian wearing our Carla apron dress, patterned with both our custom Ermin Rose's print and trellis artwork. Hashtag Akwa 22. Fashion designer Jeff Banks was made director of Dame Vivian Westwood's company just two weeks before her death. The 79-year-old Welsh designer was appointed the role on December 16, according to filings at Companies House. The pre-tax profits of Vivian Westwood Limited were £3.9 million at the end of 2020, and revenues were £42 million. Filings also show her husband and creative partner Andreas Kronthiller was made a director and secretary of her property business on December 6. In a tribute on Friday, Banks said, It is with great sadness I recognize the passing of my dear friend Vivian. My heart goes out to her family and husband Andreas. This is a moment in history. Someone who forced fashion forward in a crucible of heat combined with an unswerving dedication to fairness, justice and the salvation of our planet. A true originator who will forever stand head and shoulders above her contemporaries and take her place forever in the highest echelons of her craft. Rest in peace Vivian. You did us all a great and everlasting service. Tributes also came from Sir Paul McCartney and his fashion designer daughter Stella, both also environmental and animal rights activists. Former Beatle Sir Paul wrote, Goodbye Vivian Westwood. A ballsy lady who rocked the fashion world and stood defiantly for what was right. Love Paul. Stella, who founded her own eponymous luxury fashion house in 2001, added, I cannot believe I am writing this. Today, we lost one of the most rare British icons of fashion ever. Vivian Westwood inspired my career as a designer with bravery and bollocks. She invented punk. Supermodels Naomi Campbell and Bella Hadid, who both walked during shows by the late designer, also paid tribute. Campbell described her as the original queen of fashion and a wife, mother, grandmother and friend. She added, Your legacy is just beginning, and it will be etched in stone for forever, as your contribution to our industry is immeasurable. They could not make enough awards of what you truly deserved. Hadid hailed the designer as the most epic human being that has walked this earth. My inspiration and idol in all things. The Pretender's front woman Chrissy Hind, who worked at Westwood and Malcolm McLaren's boutique in Punk's early days, sent her love to her friend. Vivian is gone and the world is already a less interesting place. Love you Viv, Hein tweeted. In an earlier statement, Dame Vivian's husband Kronthiller said, I will continue with Vivian in my heart. We have been working until the end and she has given me plenty of things to get on with. Thank you darling. The statement from her representatives added, Vivian continued to do the things she loved, up until the last moment, designing, working on her art, writing her book, and changing the world for the better. She led an amazing life. 
Her innovation and impact over the last 60 years has been immense and will continue into the future. It also said that the Vivian Foundation, a not-for-profit company founded by Dame Vivian, her sons and granddaughter in late 2022, will launch next year to honor, protect and continue the legacy of Vivian's life, design and activism. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. Dame Vivian, who was born in Cheshire in 1941, is largely accepted as being responsible for bringing punk and new wave fashion into the mainstream with her eccentric creations. Her designs were regularly worn by high-profile individuals including Dita Von Tees, who wore a purple Westwood wedding gown to marry Marilyn Manson, and Princess Eugenie, who wore three Westwood designs for various elements of the wedding of the then Prince William and Kate Middleton. Dame Vivian was vocal in her support of a number of social and political initiatives, including campaigning for the release of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who was fighting to avoid being sent to the US to face charges under the Espionage Act.